It's been in the yeast, which gives off an acid waste. And that's why when someone has a yeast problem, they are best to greatly reduce their fruit and go to simple fruits like berries or uh, grapefruits, which are low sugars. Your alkaline nuts are almond and Brazil. Mm -hmm. Your alkaline legumes are organic soy, lentil and lima bean. So this can be all the different types of lentil, blue, green, brown, <laughs> red, red lentils, they all are alkaline. All your nuts and seeds have an alkaline effect. So all your other grains and all your other legumes have an acid effect. Now to maintain a balance of acid alkaline in the body, we need to be eating about 80% alkaline forming foods and about 20% acid forming foods. Mm. So even say, for instance, rice is on the acid side, a little rice is not a problem when everything else is alkaline. Chickpeas, and I love chickpeas, they are on the acid side, but if everything else in the meal is alkaline, you've still got the balance. It's not that those foods are bad. But the problem with arthritis and gout is often those people, they're eating about 90% acid forming foods. Yeah. So even if a person's a vegetarian, if they're having cereal and toast for breakfast, sandwiches for lunch, pasta for tea, and it's all from wheat or wheat products, they've gone easily 90% acid forming foods. So it's changing the ratio uh, is an easy way to go to a more alkaline diet. And some have found that what really helps to alkalize is having a carrot, celery and apple juice every day. And we looked at that early, in an earlier presentation, 80% carrot, 10% apple, 10% alkaline. Mm -hmm. And you know, in this part of the world, when we are vegetarian, most of the time we enjoy our acid food when they're yes. Yes. <laughs> So you find a lot of ladies and even men with a lot of youth because they are so much on that side. Because they cut just a little vegetable. The business of half a plate of vegetables. Mm. Yes, mm, yes. Very welcome. <laughs> and I'm just thinking then, would they remain on this diet for good? Or once they get well, they can have their party back? Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, if the person gets well and goes straight over to the high carbohydrate diet, the arthritis will probably come back. Mm -hmm. So it's a management program. Mm -hmm. And if you can manage it, you're doing very well. And they'll be totally cured when they see that little cloud in the eastern side mm -hmm. and Jesus comes again and gives mm -hmm. us a new body. But until then, um, it's a management program. And if mm -hmm. you can manage it, you're doing very well. Mm -hmm. And for the arthritic person, they can start to pull in some of the remedies we've talked about. Uh, hot and colds, if the feet are swollen or sore, or the hands. Uh, ginger poultices are very good at pulling the inflammation out of the joints. That's the other thing I was actually going into. Maybe the basics that they can do. Of course, we'll do the demonstration in, our, in another part of this program. But I just wanted some basics. What can yeah. we do to take yes. care of the yeah. inflamed joint and the pain? If someone has a very inflamed joint, now when we did our water therapy in a previous session, we looked at three minutes hot, 30 seconds ice oh. cold, but if the joints are very inflamed, they might do one minute hot, one minute cold. What you're looking for is response. Mm -hmm. And if the person says, ah, it's in the hot, it's too long, you say, oh, I'm into the cold. Let's try a minute in the cold. Let's try a minute in the hot. And the body's response will say, yes, or no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then after the hot and colds, the grated ginger poultice. Now, if the poultice gets too hot on the skin, an indication that it's pulling out a lot of inflammation, it, it can be removed. It doesn't have to be on for all night, for instance. But a poultice that's very soothing for overnight is castor oil. Mm -hmm. And we looked at the castor oil compresses. Mm -hmm. And the castor oil can be very good when Whenever and often with arthritis, I know with my mother, her hands were all deformed, the joints were huge, her, her feet and knees were just huge. So sometimes in severe arthritis, you get those those large knobbly joints. 
that's where the castor oil can help to break them down. Mm. And maybe to just clarify for someone who may have missed, how do they mix the cayenne pepper? How, how should we take care of that as they drink? The cayenne. Yeah. Well, the cayenne is usually taken for the boosting your hydrochloric acid. Mm -hmm. uh, you can start with a quarter of a teaspoon just in a third of a cup of water and throw it down. Now, if you thought that was easy, go for a third of a teaspoon. <laughs> if you thought that was easy, go to half. Mm -hmm. So keep increasing your yeah. level of tolerance. Yeah, and, and you're the doctor there. You do what... There's no absolute rule in this because we, we are all so different. Mm -hmm. We're all a combination of birth, genetics, <laughs> experiences, and that's why I believe everyone should be their own doctor. Sure. Is this all that they need to know? Anything else? <clears throat> there is another herb that you can take on the inside to get inflammation down, and that's turmeric. Mm -hmm. Turmeric's a very powerful herb internally to get the inflammation down. How often or how so much? So a teaspoon three times a day. Sure. If it's the fresh turmeric, you would uh, triple that dose. If it's dried, then you bring it back. Mm -hmm. okay. And I'm thinking of someone who is not following the other laws of health. Maybe they're just eating these foods, they're doing these things, and they're not seeing anything. What about their weight? Does it have an impact? Do they need to shed some it, it all does. And there is only one wonder cure. Everyone's looking for a wonder cure, but they yes. will never find it. Quick, quick, quick. <laughs> and YouTube is full of, try this, mm -hmm. it'll heal you. But there are no wonder cures. There's no wonder drug and there is no wonder herb. But there is a wonder human body. Mm -hmm. And when this body is given the right conditions, it will heal.